We're going to create a new web page now, and we're going to bring in a drop down list box and bind it to a data source. And then we're going to bring in a grid and bind that data source to also include what we select in the drop down list box for our where clause. So we're going to add a title for this page, call it movie edit. And we're going to add a heading. I'll call it Edit Movies. And now we'll add a few break lines. Now we scroll up here and grab the drop down list and drop it in. And we'll split the screen. I'm going to choose our data source. It's going to be from an SQL database. We're going to order it by movie name. Test the query. Looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to add a few more break lines. And now I'm going to put a grid in here. Choose a data source. Same SQL database. And now we have to arrange the where clause. Choose movie ID and control ID is going to be the drop down list. Advanced. We're going to generate insert, update, and delete statements. Order it by movie name. We're going to enable paging, sorting, editing, and deleting, and selection. So now if we save it and go test it in the browser. We can select any of these. and edit it. You can put whatever you want in there and update it. And you can see it saves it so it works. If we choose another data source, change this to movie names. Try it again. Now we can select the movie name and hit edit. Then it will bring up what we had just put in. So that's going to wrap up my capstone project. Thanks for listening.